What's up gamers, I'm John Jonah, and this is how to unlock the roller beetle. Okay, now before I get into it, I just want to start things off by saying the reason why this video in particular is approximately 20 minutes long is because it's a fully comprehensive guide. I'm going to show you everything you need from A to Z and exactly how you need to do it and exactly how you need to get there. That being said, if this video is not for you, if you're only looking for one missing item or two, I would say please check the description below for the exact item that you're missing just to fast forward to that part of the video. With that being said, we'll get right into it. So, in order to start the series of collections that you need to finish for the Roller Beetle, you must have first completed Forearmed is Forewarned in the Long Live the Lich chapter of Living World Season 4. Further to that, you must have at the very least started Tactical Triage. And the reason for that is only then will the correct NPCs be in their proper place that you need to talk to to start unlocking everything. So once you're at that level of the story, you must come to this area. In this house, you will find Spear Marshal Zaim. This is one of the first people you need to talk to in order to start the other dialogues that are necessary. Now once you've finished everything, Spear Marshal Zaim will no longer be here, so it's rather difficult for me to show you his exact location because once you're finished, he's gone. According to everything I've read, he is supposed to be inside this building, so I would start here first. Once you're done with the Spear Marshal, you will need to come all the way up to here and speak with Gorik. Gorik will stay exactly where he is, no matter if you finish this portion or not. And once you've spoken to Gorik, the first series of collections will begin, starting with Beetlejuice. So to complete the Beetlejuice achievement, you're going to have to collect these 10 items that are found all throughout the Domain of Korna. We'll start by collecting the three items that are around the Kodinur Crossing. The fastest way to get here is using the Epismic Grounds Waypoint and traveling north. The first item is found in the secret cache located here. Second cache is located here. And the third cache is just going to be slightly north. Once you've collected those three, we're going to make our way just south of the Arcjock farmlands. And the easiest way to get here is by using the Allied Encampment Waypoint. Next one is going to be just over here slightly north. <laughs> A 
And then the last one for this area is just going to be slightly north again in this zone. The sacred caches are very easy to spot. You can always see that... Uh, glowing silhouette that just hides behind any obscure object. So it's never truly hidden from you. Next, we're going to make our way to this area of the map. Located just north of the Apismic Grounds Waypoint. You can then travel to the Epismic Grounds Waypoint for the next secret cache. And that's going to be located here in this zone. The last one in this area is going to be located just here, which is slightly south of the last secret cache. Once you've collected all nine items, return to the allied encampment uh, at this location. Find Gorik and talk to him. In doing so, you will unlock the Beetle Saddle Collection. The inquest beetle notes uh, can be dropped by awakened inquest. Easiest place to find them is just in this location. And you can get here by traveling from this waypoint. Killing one will drop the notes. While you're here, make your way to the Debiji Hollows, where you will need to interact with a lab terminal on the top floor. The lab terminals are located just here, right next to the point of interest for the Pogan Bluffs Proving Grounds. Once you're here, simply interact with one of them, and you will unlock the Inquest Power Schematics. For the next one, you will need to complete any bounty event in the Domain of Kerna. That includes any bounty event that might currently be taking place. For the next part, you will have to go to the Lake of Lamentation. This is found in Lonar Pass in central Tyria. It's part of the Shiver Peak Mountains. 
So the best way to get there is using the Lamentation Waypoint and then traveling just across here. Killing a steam creature of any kind will drop the steam power coupling. The plague struts are dropped by golems found in this general location, just south of the allied encampment waypoint. Okay, now for the Anomaly Spark, you're going to need to wait for the World Event Legendary Leyline Anomaly. It takes place in one of three areas, either the Iron Marches, Gendarian Fields, or Timberline Falls. And you're going to need to use the Leyline Infused Lodestone to figure out where the next location is. It might also benefit you to use an event timer, a link to which is in the description below. Once the Leyline Anomaly appears in whatever region it's supposed to be in, get a squad together and start killing it. Okay, so the next one is going to be the MK2 Power Inverter. Uh, the only way to get this one is by defeating the world boss, the Mark II Golem, found at the Observation Platform in Mount Maelstorm. Easiest way to get there is using the old Sledge Sight Waypoint, and then just traveling up north. This boss does have a timer, so I'll leave that for you in the description below. Once you have all seven of these pieces, head back to the allied encampment in this area and talk to Blish. Commander, the implant things worked out despite my hiccups and belches. Next time. Talking to him will give you the completed saddle. And then interact with Petey to gain the saddle up. Following the dialogue, you will unlock Beetle Feed. And this is going to be the final collection you need to complete in order to unlock the Roller Beetle. The very first item to collect is the Live Beetle. And in order to collect it, you will need to complete this achievement, which is Trample Scarabs with your mount to contain the Outbreak. That's generally going to be located in this area. So you can take your allied encampment waypoint and head straight there. To get the Plague Scarab Egg, you have to destroy the Plague Experiments that spawn during the meta event End of the Plague. So to get to that point, you're going to have to play through the meta events.
Once the boss is dead, you'll see a whole bunch of cogs on your map. You'll need to destroy at least one of them to collect the Plague Scarab Egg. For the Janundu Ikor, you want to make your way to the Desolation and head to the Janundu Hatchery, which you can get to by using the Joko Domain's Waypoint and following the path down this way. Once at the hatchery, you can kill any of the worms here, and they will drop the Icor. Now, to get the beetle slime, you're going to have to kill the giant alpha beetle, which is a group event that spawns in this location, which is in the northern area of the Silver Wastes. The best way to get here is either by using the Camp Resolve Waypoint and then using the Script Tunnel when it's open, or using the Hidden Depths Waypoint, traveling all the way up here, and using your Springer Mount to jump the cliffs here and here, and then you can make your way to the far northwest area. Okay, now for the Desert Luciferin, you will need to come to the Epismic Grounds Waypoint in the Domain of Kerna and complete this Heart Renown to unlock the Merchant. You'll also need to have 50 inscribed shards that simply look like this. Make sure when you have them in your inventory, you do not use them, but rather deposit them into your Material Bank. That way you can use them as currency and purchase the Desert Luciferin. Inscribed shards can be collected through various events that take place throughout the Domain of Kurna, as well as Kurna supply caches found throughout the map. They look like a purple shard on your minimap, and like this in-game. Typically, you'd only unlock one per cache supply, but just be sure to unlock them every time you see them because they do add up very quickly. For the Frigid Worm Goo, you want to make your way to the Toka Pond that's just northwest of the Allied Encampment. You can just use your Springer Mount to hop the cliffs and reach the pond. Once you dive down below the pond, you will eventually reach some cave worms. Just kill one to unlock the item. To get the Toxic Spider Yoke, you will need to head to Kessex Hills, specifically the Vithen Waypoint. The event has a tendency to spawn either in this area or somewhere in this area, and it occurs roughly every six to ten minutes. You can either use the Vithen Waypoint or the Gap Waypoint, but it's best practice to stay in this general area in order to catch the event when it does occur. And once you have all seven items unlocked, you can make your way back to the Allied Encampment. Once you're back, make sure to interact with Petey. And congratulations, you've just unlocked the Roller Beetle. In doing so, you've unlocked a new Mastery Track. Similar to what you would find anytime you unlock a new mount.
Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. See you next time.